that. You have seen the result of the attack. We showed you the pictures taken after the beating of a 75-year-old substitute teacher at Perry Meridian High School. Now IT Mate confirms criminal charges have been filed against the 17-year-old student involved. Those charges were filed this afternoon. Yeah, we first told you about this story last week. Now IT Mate's Cody Fisher is digging for answers on what the state is doing to track and prevent attacks on teachers. The Indiana State Teachers Association says that they're concerned about attacks on teachers like the one that happened to the substitute teacher at Perry Meridian High School. So much so that during the last legislative session, they lobbied the state legislature to pass a bill that would require the Department of Education to finally track the number of attacks on teachers. The pictures were devastating. Um, and it's awful to hear that something like that would happen to um, any staff member. The severity of, of this was surprising. The president of the Teachers Association says this sort of incident has become more commonplace in the last few years alone. We're very concerned because we have seen an uptick uh, as schools have come back uh, post-COVID. That's why the Teachers Association advocated for HB 1591 that was signed by Governor Holcomb last session. It requires the Department of Education to specifically track attacks on teachers. Right now, the Department of Education tracks the total number of students arrested each year and what they were arrested for, but they don't track whether or not a student or teacher was the victim. Starting with this school year, if a teacher is injured by a student requiring the teacher to miss a day of school or file for work compensation, then the Department of Education is required to report those numbers at the end of the school year. The first report is scheduled to be released in July. We'll have a better understanding of the number of incidents uh, that occur like this um, and the severity and we'll be able to learn uh, is um, what we saw in this case um, emblematic of what's happening across the state or is this more of an outlier? When the Department of Education releases that first report, we'll be following those numbers and any potential policy changes that come from that report. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, ITMA.